Who are you? What, what do you represent? What are you? Yeah, what is this? I'm a screen invader. Oh, Christ. Let's cut it. <laughs> Shahab from Herbicide Magazine. Oh, cool. Yeah. What are you from? On the page, the Screenwriting Podcast. Cool. All right. So what can we expect with season two? Jeffrey, you okay. want to take this one? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I have. What have you been told? <laughs> this is one character called yeah. the professor. Uh, he's got, he's, uh, no, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We're bigger. So, uh, it's yeah. 22 minutes. Oh, you know, yeah. first season was uh, 11 minutes. Double. So yeah, we grow. I mean, uh, next season will be a bunch of movies. We started with four minute episodes on Super Deluxe, then, which was that comedy website. Then, 11 minute first season, now 22 minutes. Uh, so that means more story. We get to take our time telling stories. It's a lot better for us. Uh, we're not so cramped. So we get to pay attention to other characters, such as the Professor Cakes, Baby Cakes' dad. Yeah, explore that relationship with Baby Cakes and Prof Cakes more, the brothers. Um, it's you know it's been really good because in that I don't know if you're familiar with the first season, but it was all 11 minute episodes. So we, but we still crammed in a story, B story, and a runner. I didn't know they were 11 minutes. I swear to you, I did not. Know. <laughs> I didn't know. That's why I have this bewildered look. You tricked him. Well. I know you had no That's idea. Why they kept done it. saying, "Can you do it?" I love. It. I swear to you, we were surprised. The constant you comment was. I love what you're doing. Can you maybe a little faster? <laughs> it's true. It is true. It is true. It's shameful. That's the uh, number one. Uh, well, that's the Can I say the bottom about these guys? These are two of the funniest guys going, and they're reinventing the wheel. And, and this thing is like unlike anything I've seen. That's why I'm here. That's well, so amazing. I didn't even get a room. <laughs> I'm so such a fan. So what did you respond to in the character that you play? Like, it's funny. It's different. I'm I'm sort of addicted to, to uh, the edge in my career, which is a good thing, I guess, and a bad thing. And um, my agent said, "This is you should take a look at this." And I I, I literally read the first scene that I wasn't even in. And I said, "Let's do this. This is so funny." And then when you show people, that they go, "I've never seen anything like this," and I had never seen the animation. Mm. And the animation is, I just went on the word. Uh, so it's, it's so do you different. record the voices first yeah, and then? absolutely. We kind of like to follow the lead of the actors, you know, and uh, animate to that, the emotions that come from the reads. Uh, Which is not always the case. Right, yeah. right. Sometimes it's like, can you fit, fit into this shoe? Yeah, we, you board everything out, and then you give it to an actor, and you're like, we'll do it this way. But, you know, the show is so script-heavy where... We just record everything first, which allows like, yeah. Jeffrey and a bunch of our other actors. Brad does a bunch of voices to improvise. Wall you told some of the actors are here. I mean, you have big, big actors. We got Hulk. We have yeah. Hulk Hogan, Hogan. And which is his daughter. Really, <laughs> really, he was hoping Hulk would be here today. Yeah. Um, but we have Greta Gerwig, who I mean, the best story ever was when you two overlapped. We were recording both of you in one day, and you happened to see each other for the first time since yeah. Austin, which was, for me, probably one of the best moments. I love that. Working on the show, which is seeing you two together, like, interacting after having not seen each other in so long. Yeah. Um, the Hulk Hogan. So you do have voice actors in the same room at the same time? No, no. Uh, I was in the street. I mean, so it's, it's just easier that way, because, I mean, when you do that, you can get great chemistry, but we got to cut this thing down. We're already eight minutes too long, usually, which is always why. Oh, I thought you were talking about this. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> we're going to cut this, this down. Be, this has got to be a little bit. Can, can we talk faster? We've been here for two and a half hours. Um, okay. Wait, have you seen the show? Um, can I ask you about uh, characters, um, like character development? What do you put into your character to know that you, know, you could take them through different scenarios? Well, we really, I mean, you know, Brad and I have been working together since those early shorts days on Super Deluxe, that's when we met. And so we were lucky, like Brad had created these incredible characters and Stephen Frank and Baby Cakes. Um, and we had an idea of the Dean. And, and the, the dad. And the dad. The dad was definitely, but it grew so much more. How do you get Greta? We, I mean, we're really, we shoot for this, like Brad saw Greenberg and fell in love with it really early on. We had Pony, people who uh, is the fourth of the leads. Uh, and there was a girl, and I played the other three guys, and we were really, it took us forever to figure out who was going to be that girl who can be the... Right. And we had so much who trouble finding it. We had so much trouble finding like, the right huh. person, and Brad went to go see Greenberg that weekend, and was like, this is, she's it. And I hadn't even seen it, but I hearing Brad get so passionate about it, I saw it like a week later, but we just went out, and we're like, there's no way. 
she's going to do it. She's a huge star now. Same way with Jeffrey. We're like, Jeffrey is there's the... A, there's an adage. Uh, 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 yeah. An actor will go to the script. I mean, it, 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 the truth is, a lot of actors don't get... Uh, uh, you have to have the right people, the right people who will get you. And they'll say, oh my God, I love this. Uh, 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 sometimes not. Sometimes uh, uh, there's a resistance. And, and, uh, but um, if, you, if you get to, if it's good, the actor will arrive. So how much is improv and how much is scripted? None is improv. They won't let you do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking specifically back they, You know, we'll do a run of the lines and then be like, just put in your own words. Because it will you know, undoubtedly be funnier and also in the character. You know, we didn't know, we knew who Prof Cake was, and a sense of him because of the drawings that Brad had done from so long ago, but then once Jeffrey got on board, it was like, we know who this character is now. But then you still can't really write yeah. in the tone or of the actor. I mean, we try to respect our actors as much as possible. So, you know, you try to get it, throw it, lob it in their ballpark, but, you know, they're always going to say it differently or give you some prizes. And what, it, is, uh, what is your aesthetic? I mean, what is, I mean, obviously when I see it, it's, it's you guys are, uh, you, you, you push a certain button, you push a, a certain envelope, and you're not afraid to. Where are you trying to go? I'm sorry. To be no, it's perfect. Here, but where are you trying to go where other people don't go? I want to talk about those stories that people haven't talked about that everybody knows. Mm -hmm. You know, it's everybody's oh, it's a story, a show about a school. But it's really about just those characters and basic character interactions. People who are roped into relationships, whether because of their family or because of their work relationship, and what happens in that mix. So I just like basic human interactions, but I want to tell those stories that haven't been told, but we all know. Them. And your animation is purposely not fuzzy and warm. Why is that? I like that flatness because there's no place to hide. It's a clean, basic building blocks of shape so your eye can just easily digest it. But I like human, anything that's natural. I like those natural mm -hmm. reads. I like natural right. poses. Right. I like yeah, gestural. it doesn't feel like, you know, they're so not So in acting. a sense, the reason, if you're an actor, you go, well, this, isn't, this is not, not comfortable. This is, it's not about people being comfortable, which is kind of what I... During the readings or after you see the... The product. The product is not right. comfortable. It's, mm. It gets in your, in, your, in, your, in your system a little bit. And I like that. Because I think we're all asleep anyway. And yeah, this kind yeah. of goes, wake up. Yes, you can laugh, but wake up. I, no, I I'm appreciate that. No, that makes that makes me feel so good. I, I have a, like a godfather of mine recently just called me. He wanted to see sort of what I was working on. So I sent him a copy of it. And, Somebody I really respect. He's always been like, push the bu push the boundaries, push the envelope, push Absolutely. the envelope. He sent him the first season. He called. He's like, when I said push the envelope, I didn't expect you to have <laughs> I someone said Ronald Reagan shit in someone's mouth. Like that is crazy. <laughs> really? That is crazy. Yeah. But it's like, there's more yeah. to it than just that. We're saying bigger. That's thing. funny. But he's like, you really pushed it in a way that I can't believe anyone had pushed it. And I mean, that's sort of what we're trying to get. He's, Finding every those story fresh has been told. Finding fresh truths. There's not every story has been told. There's those fresh trees. Mm -hmm. Are there going to be any new guest stars, characters? Any more Kenny Winker's Winker? coming. Yeah, we, we try to reinvest in some characters that we started. We don't. There's there are of course new characters generated, but they uh, stick around. Hannibal <laughs> Burris plays a. Uh, we we kind of pushed out the student population a little bit now that we have more room uh, in our episodes. So before it was just we said it was this is a show about teachers who are crazy and the students who want to learn. Now we've been able to show a little. We've been able to build it out more, so it's not just about the teachers. Like there are personalities in the students, and one of them is. I worked with so Hannibal. now you flesh out the students. Exactly. So, oh. you know, I worked with Hannibal on the Eric Andre show, so I knew sort of how he was, and Brad saw saw a stand up and freaked out for it. So it was easy. It was like a kind of, we knew the type of character we wanted from him, but he's like the all American, the all American athlete. Um, so, you know, Hannibal, Chelsea Peretti plays a lot of uh, student characters now, as well as Crystal, the teacher. Um, uh, this guy, Ryan Flynn, who Brad met on a Fox show, he's a really great young. Improv actor who can like is game for anything. and just has such a great range. Um, who else? Yeah. Yeah. James Hong does, it, does it, a cameo. Love. Who owns Adult Swim? Ted Turner did. Oh, and now it's Time Warner. It's part of Cartoon Network. So, okay, so our audience is lots of self-producing people who make their own films and whatnot, and you do this professionally. 
Um, are you still having fun, you know, pleasing your audience, pleasing the executives? Yeah, it's a different game, uh, but it's about um, uh, talking, communicating, find, you know, talking out an idea rather than doing it by myself. I came from doing it by myself, and I still enjoy doing things by myself without any sort of... Uh, What's that C word? I keep forgetting. Terrible. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even ask. <laughs> Why would you even say? What's that C word that I'm always yeah. thinking about? <laughs> See word that I'm always thinking about. <laughs> but we have. Uh, it's fun, you know. I like the network. I, I like calls from the network. They we got a write, We got a writers room to like work with other people. It's the first time, besides really myself and Vernon Chapman, the brother who worked with them outside of one. But it might be different at, at other networks, but at Adult Swim, they're really on our side. They're our first audience. They see things that don't make sense, and they tell you that. That's great. But it also, the main thing, not just to pump up stuff Brad's doing separately just in, on his own again, but it's gotten him excited about doing the shorts again. He's, he's mm. really revamping the website, this Priest Comics, which is now just sort of, I think, in its first new stage, and he's going to start doing a lot more shorts, Yeah. which we are going to show one. With the panel. Oh, that's true. One. So it's like, you know, it's gotten him excited. He didn't want to do any of those shorts again. He rejected it for a while not to. That's just true. Yeah. One thing that when you're working on television, it takes you that immediacy uh, with your audience kind of away. We've been working on season two for over a year, over two years or something. Animation takes a long time, especially when you do it entirely in the States. Um, oh, you do? Yeah. Nothing shipped overseas. I, mean, I can we, we know all of our yeah. enemies. You know, we know That's our names. Awesome. Yeah. Like everybody who works on our show, we know. So how do you make sure that your story is still going to be fresh by the time it airs? It's a risk. It's a gamble, but uh, you have to, you know, have a little bit of faith in the. Uh, but your themes are pretty universal. That's and nothing. I mean, the ones you know, the points of view that Brad has that he thinks everyone else in the world has are not true. He's fucking psychotic. Yeah. I mean, the, in, I mean that in the best way. The fun, the, thing. the fun things. Like he hates. You know, this isn't. This is just something in general. He hates counter service restaurants. Actively against them. He thinks everyone hates them. I prefer table service. Of course, people. Yeah, yeah, but it's the kind of thing where it's like I don't know many people who just actively hate this one thing, so they rally oh, against it. Almost with people or by yourself. Well, I don't. Uh, I don't really care. I think more than I can't think of anything other than this. I'm going. I'm going to contemplate it. For cafeteria with the word. Oh, cafeteria! Yeah. It is cafeteria. <laughs> um, yeah, but so, they, they, look. Um, what I'm finally understanding yeah. is that the revolution is not only here; it's been here for some time. But what I do not know is that there is an audience on the other side of it waiting. And that I always thought was, who are they pitching to? Who are they talking to? Well, it's not only this. It's old and young. There, there is an audience that is waiting for something new and waiting to be talked to in another way. And these guys are doing it. Uh, and that's great. Yeah. And they're not, they're not, they don't dumb down. They, they talk right out. There's no laugh track. And it's not, it's good. I'm still going to go with content. I mean, yeah. <laughs>